Hello. Uh, this is how you like import a flight plan from little nav map into the GPS system of many planes in X plane, like uh, the SF50, Cessna, and many other propeller planes. Uh, so I'm just going to make a new flight plan here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we have a new flight plan. So I'm just going to do. So imagine you want to go from here so as the departure and set Avalon as the destination. So now we have a very simple flight plan. Um, so we want to save this and we want to save this to export flight plan as FMS for X-Plane 11 and 12. So then we, we save that, we have the FMS plan and we have the departure and the destination IKO code and this will go into your uh, X-Plane 12 output FMS plans folder so when we save that it should be in the uh, so we have the output folder and FMS plans so these are the files that are already in here and this is the new file that I've made so now uh, when we go into X-Plane you see this GPS system and you can use this as um, a way to see your flight plan so now you click flight plan and now you have this. What you want to do is you click on the inner circle then we have our FMS files here and actually I'll change the one that I'll use so because we're in Melbourne airport so you click on the on the file that you want by using this button just clicking the inner circle and you can select it using the wheel and to select you click enter and now you have the flight plan into your GPS system uh, this is the Cessna GPS system and it's very very similar and it has the exact same button so we just click flight plan and it will have like uh, the same thing you can click the inside and we will have all of the FMS files you have here and you simply just select the one you want and enter and it's in your GPS system. This is the same system I believe for most of the planes. Uh, this plane, this plane, I'm not sure about the Cessna Citation X but this, 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 this they all have the same system and it should be pretty easy to put them in.